Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up the callus and then we're gonna work on the nail spray, okay? Do have much callus? No, not that much. Just enough to warrant a little bit of cleaning, so. It won't tell you, it, it, I'll be done it so fast because so you don't have that much. So where did you train? Uh, in Toronto, at the Mishner Institute. The what it, institute? The Mishner Institute. Okay. So my mom was a registered nurse that did foot care, and then she told me about chiropathy, and I said, I don't know if I can stare at people's feet all day. <laughs> and then I, I re well, she's like, you should research it. So I researched it. I, I was like, oh, maybe this is something I'd be interested in. I apply, got in, and I've loved it more and more ever since. Well, there's a lot to it, isn't there? There's, yes. It's fun, though, because it, we get to see something different every day, right? Now, where did you sit from your, your intake form? Where is that? Where you where you're from? Bellwood. Yes. Do you know where Bellwood is? I don't know where it is. What's wrong with you? I know, right? Do you know where Fergus is? Yes. Well, Bellwood's about twelve minutes from Fergus, twelve miles from Fergus. Okay. Do you know where Bellwood Lake is? I've heard of Bellwood Lake. Okay. Well, I can walk from my house to Bellwood Lake. Oh, nice. Five minutes. That's awesome. Yeah. So can you I'm swim not... in the lake? No. Oh. I can't swim anymore. But could, like, can you people... Do you know why I can't swim anymore? Because of the nerves? Yeah. Yeah. That's not fun. I went to the, to the swimming pool one day and I thought I was going to drown. I couldn't... just couldn't Really? Swim. That's a little scary, eh? Yeah, my legs just died. It's not easy cutting my toenails, either. No. But I, I, I cheat a little bit because I got a better view. Of course you do. <laughs> I have a pair of clippers I use. Yes. And they, they seem to work. Yes. Not as extravagant as your pair there. No. <laughs> Are these cuttable? Yes. Well, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut them and then we're going to file them. So it's going to be a mixture of both, but... What, what's in there? What's behind it? Yeah, there's dead skin under there. That's all it is? Because it's really thick. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's well, the majority of it's nail, right? Yes. I can't cut those. No, it'd be so hard, right? We have these big wire cutters. Yeah. <laughs> so you, I should get mine out. No, no, don't. <laughs> kind of way to cut yourself. So where do you live? Uh, Waterloo. Okay. You interested in guns? Uh, so my brother hunts. Um, I don't know the, too much about them, to tell you the truth. It's a place called Shooter's Choice? Yes, yeah, yeah, in Waterloo. I've been there. I used to do paintballing. Did you? <laughs> yeah. Why, what, do you go to Shooter's Choice? Yeah, I think To shoot? Yeah, I'm, I'm the main. Do you have a handgun? No. Oh, you have a bunch of them. They're all rifles. Okay. What one, Remington? Or uh, what? <laughs> no, I have uh, an Italian one. Okay. No, I have a number of rifles. How many? Many, about 14. Oh my gosh, whoa. Guns are not cheap though, they're expensive. Well, it depends. Thousand dollars is an average price, right? Yeah, that's pricey though. The most expensive one I have is 2600. Oh my gosh, whoa. And I bought a shoes of choice. Did you? It's an Italian make called Perdisoli. Yeah. And what they make are replicas. Okay. But they're... Not they're, as... They're almost like... On... Art rock. They're so beautifully done. Oh, really? Yeah. Is that fungus under there? Yeah, a bunch of, you got a bunch of debris under here and whatnot. I've been using a zinc naphthenate. Okay. 
Do you ever use that? But zinc can help with your immune system, right? To boost your immune yeah, system. Yeah, but zinc naphthenate is a, an antifungi. Fungus. Yes. Same as copper naphthenate. Yes. Except it's green. Yes, but see, so for you, the majority of what's going on here is see this nail? See this? Yes. Right? Your nail's almost completely lifted. So see that? Yes. So this is all just more debris, right? And your nail's nail is lifted down to here. Yeah. Exactly. So we got to cut that whole nail off. Well, thanks. It shouldn't I hurt. It's already loose. I bet it does happen. Uh, does it feel okay? See? No pain. Why can't anyone else? I'm susceptible to pain. What'd you say? Sorry? I'm susceptible to pain. Well, how's it feel right now? That's fine. Yeah, I told you. My goodness. I know. It's got to come off because it's it's collecting all this debris under there. So will it grow back normally or will it? Um, you most likely damage the nail bed, so unfortunately no, but we're cutting it back to get it to healthy nail so that... It's so soft enough to come back for you to cut it back, I suppose. We can, if we cut it back to the healthy nail, we get it to kind of give it a chance to regrow. Because when it's loose, it can keep lifting, of right? And we can really clean it now, too. Do you have a coil grinder? Oh yes, <laughs> pretty much. Do you know something? I use one of those of my dogs. Do you? How many dogs do you have? Two. Two? What kind of dogs? If I tell you, you want to know. Oh really? I have... The Fast and Russell. Okay. Does that mean anything to you? A, a Russell just, is it like a smaller dog? That's all I would assume. Yeah, it's a terrier. Okay. They're about 23, 24 buttons. Okay. They're a little They're what, sorry? Oh yeah? What did it look like? It's a good question. <laughs> it was bred from Giant Russell about 90 years ago. Right. Do you like Giant Russell? No. You don't? No. Everybody knows that Jack Russell. Right? Uh, oh, Jack Russell. Sorry, I thought you were saying Giant Russell. Oh, Jack. 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 Yes, yes. It was bred right from Giant Russell. Okay. But you know Jack Russell's got these small legs? Yeah. Okay. We have a, a toy fox terrier, okay. and it is very similar. Like it looks like a Jack Russell. It's like just like a mini one, though. She must be small. Though. Very small. I, 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 I think she's like 14 pounds. Okay. No. No, mine are about 25. Okay. I've got two brothers and sister. I got them when they were eight weeks old. Wow. And then, uh, seven. Wow. A lot of energy. Oh, fun with energy. Yeah. Trouble is I can't let them out back at the moment. I've just so much snow. I know. Do they like the winter or no? Oh, you don't have a problem with the winter. Oh, our dog hates the winter. Oh. I swear we gotta move to Florida in the winter just for our, for our dog. Yeah, That's how much she hates the winter. Oh, my, my dogs are fine. Yeah. Except when they go in the backyard at the moment, I can't see them. Yeah, so they so deep, disappear. And have a wireless fence. Right. You see those? Oh, yes. A wireless fence. Yeah, yeah. Feels great. Yeah, it's awesome. So we used to have a, a wireless fence for we had a, my parents had a miniature Sheltie. Uh huh. Yeah, nice. Yes, and. Um, the dog would just run right through it. No, no, not like it. Yeah, they would, she just, cause like Shelties, they would almost like herd, right? So if she saw like kids playing or something, she wanted to try it, or he, sorry, wanted to try and herd them. Well, my, my female will run all around the edge of it. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cause that's where the, the beat comes, right? Yes. Have you ever tried it? Yeah. Like. Yeah. It's one hell of a show. I know. <laughs> we used to do it as kids just to see what it would feel like. Oh, like I was always amazed. Unfortunately, one day I had someone came to my front door, so I opened the door. Yeah. And while my male looks out and he sees a dog. Right. And he attacks any male dog. Right. So of course, 
Yes. Yeah. For the other dog. Right. Do you know what I used to drink? Sorry? Do you know what I used to drink? What? Green beans. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh. So you went from a big to a small dog. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. No, I have heard that. I didn't want to read it to find. My uh, grandpa used to breed beagles. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, so he used to use them for hunting. Yes. Do you hunt? No. Okay. I used to. Yeah. I'm Yeah. I've gone off with that. I don't even show flies anymore. Yeah. Most of them have something else and he'll do it. Yeah. I haven't eaten me anymore from four legged animals. But the process is so good. Yes, I know. But if I shot a deer, I'd be dead. Yeah. Because that is, you know, there's nothing cool about one good shot. I know, I know, right? That's the, way, the, the interesting thing about it, right? Is, is hunting is probably the most ethical way, right? Absolutely. Do you know anything about rifles? Minimal. I have a 45 70. Okay. It is capable of killing any animal in Alpha Yeah. Including grizzlies. So that puts a, almost a hole in your shoulder when you shoot it. <laughs> five, five shots of that on your... I know, it, it's, it actually hurts. Yeah. Even though you hold it properly. Yeah. Your ears are ringing. Yes. So I, I forget which one I was shooting, but I, the, my brother had the scope on it, yeah. and I took a shot. My my eye was a little too close. I got a nice little cut there <laughs> on the bridge of my nose. You can go off, right? Yeah, it's amazing. You know, I think is not there, No, no, no. Twenty two is like a BB gun. I have a target twenty two. Yeah. That uh, once it's set for hundred yards. Oh really? Wow. Right. I'll go for black, okay? Yeah, is that the color you want? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> you don't want me doing that, trust me. <laughs> But th this is going to feel so much better and you're going to see how that this nail is actually clean and there is no fungus. And I won't grow back? Well, we don't know because you have a, it looks like you've done a lot of damage to your nail bed. So I can't say for sure. Yeah, but... It all started when I dropped a lot of rock. Yeah, I believe it. <laughs> now, that being said, I have been able to cut some back and they've they've made quite the, the comeback, so to speak, so. Okay. If we, if that happens, that's just a bonus. How about these pink nails? Will they come back normal or what? Well, we can maintain them, right? So it's all pressure related. So if we can, can reduce the pressure, and, and part of reducing that pressure is keeping the nail kind of trimmed back, right? Yes. So, because you'll see there, like these ones, yes. now how much space there is. Okay, so we're just going to quick file the bottoms and then you're good to go. Well, that's good. Yes, those are going to feel so much better. Feel better already. I'm sure, and you're going to have an extra shoe size. <laughs> <laughs> so how often should I come and see you? About every six to eight weeks. Your toenail grows at a millimeter a month, so... You know, and those thick ones we'll want to try and keep under control. And once we have, then we might be able to kind of get them. Now, a more permanent like solution would be that you actually permanently remove the nail, and then you put chemical down there to prevent that nail from ever growing back. But we'll see how this feels first and how they grow back. What chemical is that? Phenol. You ever heard of phenol? It's a creative burn. I have a degree in industrial Oh, so you know. <laughs> so phenol creates a burn when you touch it. Oh, I know. Have you ever touched it? It's dangerous stuff. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so that's what we use to um, 
make sure that we kill the nail matrix. This is the nail matrix. This yes. is where your nail grows from and attaches to the nail bed. Oh, the phenol is. And that's where we put the phenol. And then we, after we've done the surgery, then we um, neutralize it with the alcohol. Well, what size are you removing the nail? Yeah, so you remove the whole nail and put phenol down here to prevent the nail from ever going back. In fact, yeah, they do use that with people with uh, ingrown toenails. Yes, don't they? yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, so for you, if you ever didn't like, if your nail was coming back so thick and it was starting to drive you crazy, then we, we can permanently remove it with that. So you take the whole nail and put it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try this first. Yes. Let, you know, to be a little bit more <coughs> no, conservative. Phenol is a very aggressive chemical. Yes. Perfect. All right. There okay. you go.